Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I'm going to show y'all a video. It was at an Alabama football game. I think Texas destroyed Alabama, and people claim this is racist. No, they said it was a good game. It was tight. It was tight. I didn't watch the game. I don't watch uh, college football. But Texas beat Alabama. Alabama fans, they say Alabama fans got racist. Roll Tide. Let's check out the video. You guys are all. Well, the video kept cutting out his cop because he kept saying, calling him. <laughs> yeah, he had to cut that out. Yeah. So, I mean, for him to say to go back to the projects and they being black, I would say that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, ra- uh, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I, would, I, th- I would say that's race. That's a racial. Uh, you know what makes it racist? They're black. And it, and, uh, and as that's that's an impression that the only people living projects is uh, black people. Yeah, I would say it's racist. It's racist. You are um, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Um, <clears throat> you giving the impression, yeah. right? You give the impression. You giving a superficial impression. What's the word I'm looking for? It's um, you're um, stop snapping your damn face. You're giving a stereotypical, a stereotypical. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you're no. you're paying it like black people all live in um no the it's, a, it's a word i'm looking for it's stereotypical impression of of a group of people that's what i'm trying to say it's a still typical no, fuck it. y'all know what i'm saying yeah and then they are pretty dark you know i mean if you wanted to be like really hateful you should have said don't go back to project you said go back to africa that's what I was saying. No, the projects, I think that's hit, uh, hit some below the belt. No, go back to Africa. I think it's... Have you been... I've been to the projects in, like, L.A. when I lived in California because mm-hmm. I was a private investigator. I had to go in the projects and follow this sorry-ass nigga, right? Man. Yeah, I got ran out of Compton. Man, them niggas... So now, these was the projects. Yeah, I was following the dude when I was a P.I. A nigga came, opened my door, had a gun. I was shaking, pissed on myself. <laughs> shut the door. They chased me out of Compton. Yeah, I got chased out. Them of niggas are sneaky, man. Yeah. They come up behind you when you ain't looking. They come up behind your ass. And you know, when you go to the ghetto, you go to the project, everybody knows everybody. So from the moment I pulled up to that house, everybody knew it. said, wait a minute. Well, I don't know nobody with no Ford GT Escort. <laughs> it's all blue. And the windows are tinted up. Yeah. You know what? I bet you there's a white man sitting in that car. There was a, there was a light-skinned private investigator in there. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, people, you know, black people, when they look at things like this, they sensationalize. Oh, this is a miracle. No, this is only one individual, maybe two or three. This is not a representation of white Americans. It's a representation of a uh, few races. It's a representation of Alabama fans when they lose. Just to paint a bigger picture, man, these athletes, man, they get, these people are treated like gods on campus. They got the education paid for, all the meals taken care of. They get us. No, I mean, they, they, they use, shut up. They use this incident to say, look, look, this is America. It's a systemically racist place. No, it's not. This one white dude, if he's in fact white, I'm pretty sure he's white. He's right there, right up on the field. He might be a light skinned dude. Yeah, but to say, but to label this country racist because of one dude. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do racism exist? Do racist people exist? Of course, but this country is not systemically racist. The black football players are, are a prime example of that. These people are treated like. Greek gods, give them statues and everything. Ain't got pay for nothing. They give them statues. All the white girls are sucking them off. They give them statues. You know how many white girls these dudes is doing in a day? It's they like do. a fetish for them. This dude that runs fast and jumping, he's strong. <laughs> Bitch, he's got a big black cock. <laughs> he's gonna stick it in, desecrate my insides with all that, all that damn nigger juice. <laughs> Man, what is wrong with you? I mean, seriously, no, they what use, is wrong with no, you? When stuff like this happened, they used it to paint America like a systemically racist place when it's not. This actually portrays America as a, the best place for a black prison to live. <laughs> <laughs> they get co- told to go back to the projects. Man, these dudes are whooping their team in football. They got a full ride. Yeah. They don't have to pay for anything. They banging all the white girls yeah. they can want. 
And then they just want to they just want to cherry pick. Oh, look at this. The one guy that's screaming and stupid things. Oh, this proves America's right now. It proves America is not racist. Yeah, America, of course, there's racist people. But because the racist people exist does not make this country systemically racist. Yeah. He's even doing the little. It's some kind of African dance. It proves this country's not racist. I bet some dudes got sucked off right after the game. Yeah, white By girls. Alabama fans. Yeah, redheads, blondes, blue eyes. Fire they, cries. they looking up at them, sucking that long, black Alabama snake. <laughs> hey, I give away some well, that long, old. black Texas snake. Long, black, damn, there's a tongue twister for me. Long, black Texas snake. Hey, I give away some stuff. It's down to the last week and a half. We're giving away a... Ram 2500 diesel and ten thousand dollars in cold hard cash. The end of the win. Go to officialharshtwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you out of my good. End of the win. Yeah.